Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In recent years, in order to curb China's technological development, the Biden administration has frequently issued a series of chip bans and strictly restricted the export of photolithography machines and key components to China. These bans are constantly escalating and the scope of control is constantly expanding. The purpose is to restrict China's access to advanced chip manufacturing equipment. Fortunately, with the rapid development of mainland China's chip industry, the latest data shows that the number of mainland wafer factories is expected to reach 76. This number is composed of 44 existing wafer factories in operation and 22 under construction. The factories in the project and the 10 factories planned are accumulated. This data not only marks the great progress of China's semiconductor industry, but also reflects the huge demand for semiconductor equipment, especially lithography machines. Against this background, ASML, a major supplier in the lithography machine market, stated that despite facing technology export restrictions, they will continue to supply DUV lithography machines to the Chinese market. This decision has injected a boost into the semiconductor industry in mainland China and has also triggered extensive discussions on the future global semiconductor market structure. ASML's decision can be seen as a direct response to the current global semiconductor market conditions. Despite facing technology export restrictions from the United States, ASML still chose to maintain the supply of its DUV lithography machines in the Chinese market. This strategy not only reflects ASML's emphasis on the Chinese market, but also reflects their understanding of the current global semiconductor market needs. ASML's DUV lithography machine is regarded as a representative of mature technology and plays a vital role in global semiconductor production. Still, ASML's decision is not without risks. They need to ensure market competitiveness on a global scale while complying with international regulations. Behind ASML's decision, the role of the Dutch government cannot be ignored. The Dutch government has played an important role in supporting ASML's shipments to the Chinese market and has negotiated with the United States on technology export restrictions in an effort to gain greater operating freedom for ASML. This process not only demonstrates the Dutch government's support for the country's high-tech industry, but also reflects the importance of the role of governments in the global semiconductor market. In today's era of globalization, the intertwining of international politics and economics has a profound impact on high-tech industries, especially key industries like semiconductors. As ASML continues to pay attention to the Chinese market, lithography machine manufacturers in other countries, especially Japan, have also begun to reevaluate their strategies in the Chinese market. Japanese lithography machine manufacturers stated that they will actively expand the Chinese market and have specially launched mature process equipment that is not affected by the ban. This move not only shows the importance Japanese companies attach to the Chinese market, but also provides more choices for the Chinese semiconductor industry. As the global semiconductor industry continues to develop, the importance of the Chinese market has become increasingly prominent 
and competition among international photolithography machine manufacturers will become more intense. Behind ASML's decision to stick to the shipment of DUV lithography machines lies a multi-level market strategy, an international political game. On the one hand, this decision provides support for the development of China's semiconductor industry. On the other hand, it also exposes the complex dependence of the global semiconductor industry on equipment and technology. In the future, as the number of wafer factories in mainland China increases, the demand for key equipment, such as photolithography machines, will also continue to grow. This not only poses a challenge to ASML, and other international lithography machine manufacturers, but also puts forward new requirements for the independent development of China's semiconductor industry. As the global semiconductor market continues to evolve, ASML's strategy in the Chinese market may trigger a series of chain reactions. From the competition among international lithography machine manufacturers, to the supply chain reconstruction of the global semiconductor market, every step will have a profound impact on the future market structure. In this process, China's semiconductor industry's independent innovation capabilities and international cooperation strategies will play a key role. In this regard, China expects China's semiconductor industry to play a more active and important role in the global market. At the same time, China is also paying attention to the future trends of international lithography machine manufacturers, such as ASML, and how they maintain their competitiveness and influence in the global semiconductor market. In short, in the global semiconductor market, the growth in the number of wafer factories in mainland China is not only an important symbol of the development of the domestic semiconductor industry, but also an important manifestation of changes in the international semiconductor industry pattern. ASML's strategic choices, the support of the Dutch government, and the market strategies of Japanese lithography machine manufacturers all reflect the complexity and dynamics of the global semiconductor market. In this ever-changing market, how to balance international cooperation and independent innovation will be a major challenge facing China's semiconductor industry. China looks forward to seeing China's semiconductor industry achieve greater progress and success in this era full of opportunities and challenges.